Um, as you know, Madam Chair, um, from direct experience with your district, parts, uh, places across the island have been affected by an increasing um, epidemic of people who are obstructing our sidewalks. These sidewalks are designed for public passage. They are not designed to uh, accommodate people who are lying down on them. And as a result, um, it is dangerous to both pedestrians and to the people lying down to permit them to lie down on the sidewalks. Um, often pedestrians are uh, to, to traverse around people who might be lying down are actually entering the roadways and that's an even more dangerous place for pedestrians to traverse. And so I think um, this bill makes some reasonable and limited uh, changes to existing law to accommodate the safety and the public health of people who are trying to access those neighborhoods. Um, it's safe to say, Madam Chair, that we receive, I think, more complaints, questions, and comments about people lying down on the sidewalk than virtually any other issue. And I don't know that this bill itself will change that situation. As has been discussed, um, the problem of homelessness is a problem that's affected our city and county for many years now. It's a growing problem. This measure does not deal whatsoever with homelessness. It mentions homelessness not at all, either in either of the two CD1 drafts that, um, that have been discussed and proposed today. And it doesn't affect the homeless. It doesn't penalize them. It doesn't criminalize them. All it does is require that sidewalks in certain limited, very limited geographical areas, the ones that have been most disproportionately impacted by people lying down in them, remain free and open for people to, uh, to ingress and egress and to do the things that, they are, that, that the sidewalks are designed to do. Um, one final note, Madam Chair, the issue of the difference between a 24-hour and a time-limited ban. As you know, Madam Chair, our sidewalks are used at all hours of the day and the night. They're used by people who are patronizing our restaurants, our bars, our businesses. But they're also used not just by visitors and by businesses, but by our local residents as well. And as you know, there are thousands of residents of both well, of the Chinatown, the Capitol, and the Waikiki Special Districts who use the sidewalks to jog, to walk their dogs at all hours of the day and night. Um, you might know, Madam Chair, that our state wakes up the earliest of all states in the country. I know there are people downtown who get to work at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I am concerned that if there's a time-limited ban, people who are trying to get in a jog before they head into the office are going to be impacted by the blockages of the sidewalks. And so that's why I think it's very important to have the ban apply on a 24-hour basis in these very limited geographical areas. So um, with that, Madam Chair, I again thank you very much for your hard work on this measure and for your um, the devotion of your committee's time and resources to it. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Members